Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today, I'm going to show you how to mix background vocals, gospel background vocals. So let's go ahead and uh, mix these. This is the main vocal, which is set on the center. This is the soprano sent to 45. Now, I'm going to show you this. Whenever you set your uh, backing vocals to like hard right or hard left, the vocals uh, tend to spread even more. Sometimes uh, they don't get centered the way they are supposed to be centered. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So for now, they sound like this. <laughs> So let's go ahead and add some effects F6 um, EQ just to get rid of those. Uh, you can use any type of EQ just to get rid of those uh, rumble and you know some of those frequencies that are too buzzy. Double click on it so that it can work. Backing vocals are different from lead vocals. Uh, they are not supposed to have a lot of uh, low end. Backings are supposed to be a little bit lighter than the lead vocals. So let's go ahead and just sweep all the way to a place where they begin to sound a little bit lighter. So somewhere there then, if they do not sound great uh, after you have like taken out all the lows, you can still bring back the band a little bit to a place where they begin to sound better to your ears, right there. I don't like that frequency, so I'm gonna just uh, give it a deep cut. Just to clean the vocal up a little bit and now they sound much, much better. This vocal is a little bit uh, ringy, so in order to take it down, just I'm just gonna like drop it down to... And now I'm just gonna raise up uh, 8k just to boost uh, to uh, bring out the presence. Let's go ahead and get um, a compressor from uh, Cubis. And I'm gonna turn off auto, just raise up a little bit. Once we start the balancing, the volume is gonna go down a little bit, so I'll go back to the compressor and raise them up a little bit. So let's start with those ones which are a little bit higher. They are so the secret is searching for those vocals which are a little bit higher with me these are the ones so these are the ones right here and now what I've added is called and our vox just to bring out those uh, backing vocals a little bit, increase the volume a little bit and add some warmth to those vocals and basically this makes your vocals to sound, your backing vocals to sound really really nice and followed by this I'm gonna lay up a denoiser to take out those, t -t 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 those other uh, uh, background noise, floor noise and those other uh, uh, sounds which are, are unnecessary. <laughs> And once you have set up your X noiser or your D noiser, go ahead and use the click. I love to use the click, so just uh, highlight all the vocals and then come to uh, plugins and then go to restoration. Uh, let's go ahead and go to restoration and come to the crackle yeah i'm talking about the crackle and then 
isotope the charcoal and then just heat process so that all the charcoals can be taken out and now that it is done we are done with uh, the charcoal let me just uh, play this the main lead was a little bit lower so i've just increased it uh any vocal you feel like is a little bit in the background and is not coming out the way it's supposed to come out make sure you just raise up the volume from here yes, and now let's go ahead and check out our panning so whenever you're mixing background vocals make sure you pan them if you don't you don't you don't pan them the vocals are not gonna sound great so i have these this one panned to 45 this one is panned to 60 so let me try this one uh panning this one to to 60 and this one is just gonna go to 60 also I'm gonna set my ratio on a three and my threshold is just gonna go down a little bit to compress some of those parts where the singer is a little bit low so that those parts can be brought up a little bit. Then what I'm gonna do now is just go into group number two, sends and uh, uh, throw in a reverb so that those backing vocals can have more space. Actually, now there is more space to the backing vocals. Let me now go to the main EQ and uh, try to cut down around 1K. This is the frequency that I'm talking about, this one. Now what I'm going to do is raise up the volume a little bit more again using our vox. And now what I'm what I'm trying to do now is trying to open up the barking vocals. So what I'm doing is just come around five to ten k in between there, uh, which is around maybe seven thousand, and just lift it up in order for those barking vocals to have uh presence and just to open up let me turn this off and then i'll turn it on so you guys can take a listen to this so now that we have opened up the backings throw in a filter and the one that i'm gonna use right now is channel strip and just come to SS, SSL or SSG but let me use SSL and just basically use filters so this is the first one that I'm gonna do yeah, you'll see me taking it up to a place where I stop hearing those uh, highs <laughs> let me just uh overdo it so you guys can like take a listen to what this does so really like uh cleans up the vocals and makes them sound crisp 
So this plugin is called CLA Vocals. If you wanna spread up your vocals even more and make them sound better, use CLA Vocals. So the last plugin that I've added is a uh, get in order to close up those areas where the singer is not singing so that we don't we uh, get rid of that in between noise and that's the work of a get and uh, i have set it to a place where i feel like uh, the vocals are not engaging and that's what you set your get where the singer is not singing and that's exactly what you want to close up so that's what i have done like this <laughs> As you can see this side, whenever the singer stops singing, then this side just closes up. Don't forget to subscribe to Pro Mixing Mastering. I'll see you in the next one.